Hey, hey, Milky here, back again with another video for Marvel Snap. Uh, the new season has just launched, and we've just opened up the game, literally just ticked over um, for the time for the new season. So let's get into it, and let's have a look what's out, what's new, new season cards. Um, there's been some murmurings, but let's get into it, and um, let's check out what the new season has to offer. Okay, so this is it. We've got a Symbiote Invasion kicking off for the October 2022 season pass. Lots of Spideyverse stuff going on. I can see, I can see some Spider Woman stuff in here with some variants, some avatars going on. I can see some stuff to do with Carnage. And then we have the card Spider Man Miles Morales, which looks like a four five. Um, so let's get into it and let's see what is in the season pass. For the October 2022 season pass, we have the Symbiote Invasion. Um, looks like lots of kind of stuff to do with the Spideyverse. Um, we saw some stuff to do with Spider-Woman earlier, Carnage, and the featured card for this season is Miles Morales Spider-Man. Interesting. So, and his ability is if a card moved last turn, this costs one. Um, no on reveal effect, no on going. It just happens when as it's in your hand. Um, and uh, there could be some interesting interplay here with uh, with some move decks. I mean, move decks have kind of fallen out of the meta. They haven't been great lately. Um, but this could potentially bring them back. We'll have to see as people kind of like theorycraft around the deck, um, get into seeing what, what he can potentially do in certain deck types and um, see how we go. But um, for me, I think just looking at this card and, you know, there's been some discussion leading up to this, but I think Miles Morales could really be a, a hit or miss for a lot of people. Um, probably not one of those absolute core cards that you're going to want um definitely it could just be something that you pick up later on in pool three as the as the kind of game continues and your collection level gets higher maybe you'd just be happy picking it up then um i think for me i'm going to be picking up the season pass i love to play around with new cards new decks those kind of things um and for me a huge thing about the season pass is all the other rewards that you get so the credits the gold um the variants are really nice um, but the credits and the gold help me push my collection level further um which is a really big thing for me um i still haven't completed my collection and I'm, I'm i'm kind of sitting around that 18 25 mark at the moment so pushing that collection level as high as i can and the season pass is a great way for me to kind of make that happen a bit quicker so i'm playing a bit of catch up here but um i'll be picking up the premium season pass uh, a bit later on so the level 50 reward for the season pass is pretty much always a variant and i think this is one that i like almost the most out of all the variants I've ever seen. Whether you like Miles Morales, um, Spider-Man as a card or not, and how effective he ends up being, I think this is a super cool looking variant. It's got like into the Spideyverse kind of vibes um, with a, a cybernetic kind of city behind him, lots of color and lots of light. Uh, I think it's a really cool art style and um, and keen to pick this one up when I get around to level 50. So I think Spider-Man Miles Morales, and it's very early days, but I think it could be definitely a hit or miss for a lot of people. Um, it's probably not gonna be one of those core game changer kind of cards that you definitely wanna get from a season pass, like Wave, for example. Um, it could just sit back and be something that could be really cool to play, but definitely not a core game breaking kind of card. Um, and a lot of people are probably gonna be happy to add that to their pool three collection as they unlock it just throughout playing the game normally. I think Miles Morales might be in that kind of bucket um, where he's gonna be a really, really fun card to use, but something that's maybe not directly gonna you know, impact your new meta decks and those kind of things that people are gonna be building around. But we'll have to wait and see, maybe he will. Who knows, maybe move decks will return and be the best thing um, since the game came out. Who knows? We'll have to find out. Okay, so our rank has been reset to 70, which happens at the start of every season. You get reset 30 ranks um, from what you were able to achieve that season. Some of the rewards we've got. Okay, so we've got some card backs. We've kind of got a standard credits and boosters. We've got a pretty cool Mars Morales avatar, which is nice. More credits along the track. At 70, we have a card art variant, which is sweet. Definitely different than the um, the avatar that we used to get in previous seasons. So I like this change. We've got some more credits at uh, Omega and Galactic. And then Infinite Reward is another card back. Really, really cool. This one's a pretty sweet reward for sure. Um, Spideyverse, I guess, Miles Morales. Uh, with the webs in the background, super, super cool card art. 
Hopefully I'll be able to pick this one up this season. So that kind of wraps up everything that's in the new season pass. Lots of kind of like new variants coming out. Miles Morales being the new featured card of the season. Hopefully we can test him out and see how well he does in some move style decks and, and see if he's definitely worth picking up. Um, we're going to pick him up now and then we'll get into some games and see how we go. Okay, so we're just back now from swiping and picking up Miles Morales. So we've unlocked him in the season pass. There he is. Awesome card and can't wait to get his variant later on. All right, so let's try and put a bit of a deck together. I'll definitely have to do some research as to some of the decks people are trying him out in a bit later on, but I'm keen to put something together right now and just see how it goes. I think it'll probably be a bit of a mix up of a, a move deck as well as some other cards in there too to try and balance out that. Um, but we'll see, we'll put something together and we'll see how we go. Uh, so this is the deck I've come up with to try out first of all. Um, we did tweak it a little bit here and there. We we tried out Polaris and Aero first up. They they definitely didn't feel great. They didn't feel like they belonged in this deck. So I, I moved them out, shifted in Multiple Man and Hulkbuster for those two. We also tried out Captain Marvel. Didn't really work out so much either. So went with Iron Man in that five slot spot. Um, hoping to get some benefit out of having Miles Morales. I think with a deck like this, he's actually gonna be able to see a lot of play. Um, I just have concerns about the move kind of deck type and archetype in general. I just don't think it is the strongest deck at the moment. And I think that putting one card, one single card, which is, could be a really good card in the deck is gonna make it um, a really strong deck overall in terms of the meta at the moment, but I'm happy to be proven wrong. Um, I also think that this uh, Miles Morales could fit into lots of other decks, but we'll explore that a little bit later on. I'm gonna go with this you know, main kind of like central move deck at the moment. See how we go. We'll test it out in a few games and we'll go from there. I think for this kind of style of deck, it's um, like, I really just don't think move decks are in a great spot at the moment. Um, and my thought is that releasing a potentially strong card for a move style deck won't just immediately make the move kind of archetype super strong. Uh, but we'll see how we go. So we go straight into Tinkerer's Workshop and we have a Cloak play or we have an Iron Fist play. I think I actually just like getting Nightcrawler out on the board and then we can go ahead and skip turn from there. Stax is having some issues at the moment, which is not fun. So we have Mindscape, so we'll see how that plays out the rest of the game. We have a Dagger and we have Iron Fist in hand. Um, I think us just getting Dagger out on the board is fine here. We can always cloak and move it around, move her around a bit later on once we know where people are playing. Uh, the peak, amazing for Iron Man, kind of rubbish for the rest of our deck but uh for the rest of our hand but that's okay let's go ahead and get craven down okay so they play magic into the peak uh which is okay let's see how we go i have a doctor strange so We definitely want to use Iron Man as a bit of surprise play for us. I'm wondering if we just play Iron Fist out for a bit of power, but I mean, it's not great, is it? This turn's a bit wonky. Uh, I guess let's do this. Let's go ahead and play Iron Fist. I don't know if this is great, but we'll see. So they got the Brood Patriot. Interesting. Got some Patriot tech out on the board. Hmm, we didn't move anything, so that's fun. And I have to play Iron Man this turn. Do I do this? Wait. Do I do this? If 
figure out how to win somewhere else. If a card moved last turn. Okay, so they're just going to retreat. I don't know, that was kind of weird. I feel like it's definitely going to lose that, but... Sneak out the win, let's go to the next. So get the TVA, so TVA isn't great for us, but we do have Nightcrawler Craven, which can be some sneaky power early on. Very cool. Is that an Inkify? Looks pretty cool anyways. Craven, I guess? You can do this. Okay, very nice, very nice. I'm just hoping they don't have a way to... A way to... Um... Actually, no. I don't think they're gonna have a way... Well, they might, they might have a way to, to change TVA. And kind of our run goes to a bit to waste, but... Um... We can actually get to three here, but no, unplayable. Uh, let's go do this. Okay, so maybe he is... Maybe he is actually going after... Um, after the raft. Uh, after a um, changing the TVA. I'm, not, I'm really not sure. This caps us out in mid. You get a Misty Knight. You get a, you get a rescue? That's a joke. What a joke. Um, very unfortunate. I think we have to make this play. They're going to play mid, and we have to hope that we've one left. Let's go ahead and make this play. I, I don't know. If they draw Mjolnir, I guess I'm very unlucky. So play Wasp, which gets them to seven in left. We do sneak out the draw. It's a draw, right? Yeah, it's a draw. It's a tie now. So it's a tie. Interesting. Okay, so, man, could have gone anyway. I guess the Wasp play was pretty sneaky from them, but, I mean, this is just RNG, right? Rescue versus Misty Knight? Come on. Straight into world ship, so this deck is not gonna be good into world ship. Oh, I'm feeling we're in a little bit of trouble here. Um, let's. Oh, we do actually get Iron Man, so not the worst. Not the worst. Uh, what do we got in our deck? What's the highest power cards we got in our deck? We got Mars Morales. We've got Iron Man. We've got Heimdall. I think he's actually going to be one of the highest cards in the deck, seeing as though we can't move things around. Let's go ahead and get Cloak down. I guess kind of feels kind of weird, but feels kind of weird. He's got an Angela. That's not fair. So five and six are looking like four, five, and six are actually looking down. So I think we just we just go ahead and skip this turn. It's going to be the max power we can get in this. Um, in this deck if we had a sunspot we'd be getting absolutely destroyed but i think yeah if we had hogbuster last turn would have been the better play but this is it this is what we got spider-man miles morales i'm just wondering do we snap this guy or do we play it out I, th I think once he sees the iron man he's gonna be Dipping, unless he's got his own Iron Man. He's got Strong Guy. There's no way he's going to get the value out of Strong Guy. We just play Heimdall. Doesn't move anything. Yeah. The, the, we drew really well for, for World Chip, but we definitely usually shouldn't be winning that location at all. Um, let's go to the next one. The original deck that we ran over here with um, Captain Marvel. Um, we swapped her out for Iron Man. 
just thought it was a little bit better. Um, in a lot of ways. So for this one, we have Lost Diablo's base straight off the bat, and they get rid of our Craven, which is can sometimes be pretty important to us. Um, what do we want to do? Let's get Dagger out, I guess. Wait, do we want to move Dagger towards the location where they're... Yeah, maybe they start playing over there. Mm, Daredevil. Okay, so Daredevil's fun. It's Sokovia, and we discard out our uh hmm, we discard our cloak so not too fun is that one ruin a random location could get rid of the danger room for us do we just want to take a few power on on dagger here might be the play let's just do this we can get Miles morales out okay so we do get a little bit rewarded here with a um a small benefit and that does hit our our night crawl of six power so that's that's kind of fine okay so it does get rid of sokovia we still have some potential awkwardness here um just trying to think about what's the best way to do with this we can no, we can't. I think we want to make this play. Let's go ahead and make this play. We'll try and lock down right lane with a... Um, I've got a Typhoid Mary. Okay. So that's pretty strong for them. Maybe if we get an Iron Fist here, it could do something. We get a Heimdall, so we're going to... I'm gonna move lots of stuff with Heimdall. We can also Heimdall left, which is interesting. I don't think we were playing this, are we? Are we ever doing this? No, I don't think we are. Okay, let's do this. He's gonna know what we're doing, obviously with Daredevil, but I think I don't know, we don't we don't have a great line of play here. Is snapping us. It's the typical daredevil, you know, snap. It's fine. Unless they just Professor X left now. That wouldn't be fun, is it, Professor X? It's Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin. I am Iron Man. So the Hobgoblin play is pretty brutal for us too. Um Could potentially try and win with Heimdall here. Okay, hold on. Let me let me just see. What does this do? This does nothing, right? This just gets us to plus five. Okay. Just had to just wanted to confirm that. This is the only way we win. We potentially win. And we have to hope they play mid. That's it. That's our, our win condition is they play mid. So let's do it. Okay. Very unfortunate. Because if they, if they played mid, we could have easily won that. Very easily. Um, but very unfortunate. Okay. So straight off the bat, we go into Mojo World. Not a terrible location for us at all. Uh, we do have the Iron Fist into multiple men if we want it, which could be pretty good. Um, we can also play this out on turn on turn three, which is fine as well. So we might we might just go ahead because we might draw into something like uh, a Cult Buster, which would be cool. So let's go ahead and just play uh, Nightcrawler. Into Mojo World, Misty Knight. So they're definitely playing some sort of, um, probably some sort of Patriot deck, I assume. Maybe trying to climb the ladder early on. Dagger could be really good into Mojo World, for sure. Um, 
But we probably want to hold that play until a little bit later. Do we just get Miles Morales out here? And, uh, and multiple men. We can punch Dagger over later. We can also potentially just move her over later. Let's move multiple men later. I think this is a play. Let's go with this. That's fine. Leave a bit of space. So he gets his onslaught out, which is pretty brutal having an onslaught out this early. Okay. Well, that just completely changes what we're doing here. We might just have to get out the uh, the old dagger play early on. Hopefully they play in a mojo world. I don't know. I guess not. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, so dif District X kind of just completely messes us over there, but they get a black cat out. Interesting, interesting. I don't know what this is going to do. I don't know what we got in our deck, but you know what? Let's find out. We'll just play Mr. Negative. And we'll just see if we get a deck of unplayable cards or we get amazing... Iron Man, Mystique. We get Psylocke, so... Psylocke's kind of useless. Can you just go Swarm? I guess? I don't know. I don't really know what to do here. I get a White Tiger. They get Black Cat and White Tiger, and I get Mr. Negative and Psylocke and Swarm. What the hell is this? This, I guess? I don't even know, this feels like rubbish. Yeah, they smoke us in mid. Um, so we're trying to play these games through as much as we can. Um, I don't really want to be retreating too much or, uh, you know, I don't want to be retreating too much. I don't really want to be like um, trying to like strategically snap on people. I'm just trying to get a feel for how the deck is. Um, but yeah, at the moment, definitely not the best. Let's just say that. Definitely not the best. We can just drop Iron Man here. What do we think about this? And then... And then Iron Fist. Uh, let's go with this. I am Iron Man. So Bishop and Colleen Wing and Ant-Man. Not a bad play. It's not bad. Um, it's Shadowland. Shadowland's kind of garbage. We could, you could just do this, which is cheeky. Do it, do a little bit of this. That's not bad. Take a seven. Take a seven on dagger. Not bad at all. Not bad. Can't be played here. So. Vulture. I think Vulture's the play. Hulk bust the Vulture and then potentially move it again later on. Um, we might want to make this play actually. Getting to a spot where we need to think about what we're actually, um, how we're going to round out the game. If we don't draw move cards. Not sure. I think... I feel pretty confident about this one. I think they've got to play with Miles Morales next turn. Obviously playing Nightcrawler, that would, at least they probably do. Um... We just have to see what we're drawing to. I guess. So we do get the retreat out there. I think we had a pretty strong turn. We, we didn't really have a strong late game, but getting the Iron Man out early was a pretty good play for us, for sure. All right, let's go there next. Okay, so for this one, we have Monster Island. Not too bad for us. We can just start moving some things around. Pretty good target for Iron Man as well. Let's go ahead and uh, skip on turn one. 
I'm gonna be playing Craven turn two here, I think. Um, okay, so we got any good on real effects in this deck? Hope Buster? I don't know what that does. Doctor Strange? Iron Fist? We'll see. Um, let's go ahead and play Craven. We have the Nightcrawler for um, Miles Morales if we want on turn four. Wait, did they just... Oh. So it triggers and it gives them three. How interesting. Okay, I guess it doesn't duplicate. So it just triggers the on reveal effect and gives another one. It makes sense. Um, so we can play... Dagger and... Can't add a card here, so there's no really real point in me playing it. Um, and I think we just set up for a cloak turn next. We want to get this out on the board then. We can do it next turn. Let's see what they play. Daggers is not an on reveal, I don't believe. You know, it's just a uh, thing that happens ongoing. So let's go ahead and play cloak. We can also just drag the monster over, which feels kind of pointless. Four, five, and six. So we're going to get Miles Morales for one. Um, hmm. But we don't have to move Nightcrawler, so let's get him out because we're probably going to be playing Iron Man next turn, I think. We could do an Iron Man Miles Morales in right to get a sneaky 10 power out on the board. We'll see. See how we go. We've got a Patriot. We've got a Shocker out. Got some pretty strong plays, I think. Got our cloak down. That's a bit of a shame, to be honest, that we draw Vulture now. I think... This feels like a pretty strong play. This also feels like a pretty strong play. Hopefully they move something. Let's go ahead and lock this in. Don't know if this is the best play, but... Okay, so they do flood the board here. They do get their Wolf Spain down, which is pretty good on Kamataj. We do get the four power. We're up a bit short though. No, no, we are uh, sorry. It hadn't calculated the monster yet. So we do come up over the top there, which is pretty good for us. We get the Miles Morales. We can drop Hulkbuster as well. Um, so this gets us to 22. Only just there. I'm wondering if we want to make a different play. This is seven. Yeah, we can only get to 22, which is tight. Our other play is like this, which seems pretty good. Like we go just straight up 11 power. Like they could have a Hulk though. Hulk wins it here and Hulk is pretty likely in their deck, hey? Let's guess that they're going to have a Hulk and we'll... Okay, there's a no Hulk. They don't get the benefit of Squirrel Girl, Misty Knight, or the thing. Okay, so I thought Blue Marvel might have been coming down then, but we sneak it away with 22 power in the left lane and 28 power mid. So we had to have a lot that worked out in our favor there, but we did... We did do pretty well in that one. That was a good win, for sure. So I wanted to finish the video up with a bit of fun, a bit of a collector's reserve opening. Um, I've been able to unlock three collector's reserves through, you know, through the season pass rewards and also through the previous ranked season rewards, uh, which is great. So I've got three reserves to open. So let's crack them open and hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get uh, some cool new cards that I can play around with. So let's go. Okay, so first up, 
We have Electro, so interesting, um, interesting card. Might be able to do something with him for sure. Pretty cool unlock, I don't mind that at all. Um, we also were not too far into Pity. We're actually only one card into Pity, so Electro is a great pull. Uh, we'll go ahead and crack open number two. We get some Iron Man boosters. Definitely don't need any of those. Um, and the last one we have, we actually get two cards, so we get Hazmat. That is an awesome pull. Um, I've seen some crazy things recently and one of my videos someone actually did this crazy um, hazmat play with uh, Colossus um, against me and that just worked out so well so I I'm super keen to try out that deck so all in all really good opening we got two cards within just a, a few um, collection levels there we only um, had one pity in between so that's crazy um, really really fortunate so Stay tuned for maybe some hazmat or electro videos coming out soon. Uh, really look forward to playing around with these cards as well as more Miles Morales gameplay coming at you pretty soon. Okay, so that's gonna wrap us up on our initial crack at a Miles Morales move deck. I think my initial thoughts at the moment are move decks kinda suck. Um, and I think that adding a, a cool new card to that archetype doesn't immediately make it a good deck. Um, I think for me, the card is actually super playable and something that uh, I think is gonna be really valuable in, in some other decks, but I think the move deck archetype at the moment is in a pretty sad spot, especially in comparison to other really strong decks in the meta. Um, so I think that Miles Morales can be a really good card. I think there's some really good interplay with, with cards like Nightcrawler. You can just have a move, uh, just get ready to move it on turn three or um, you can, later on in the game where you can just play Miles Morales for one cost. I think there's probably some other really cool interactions as well with move cards that you can, you know, just tech in a move card or maybe a couple of move cards into a deck. But I think basing a deck fully around the move archetype at the moment definitely isn't the strongest play, at least in my opinion. Happy to be proven wrong. Um, this is the first crack that I've had at this deck. I'm really looking forward to playing around with the card more. Uh, if you do have any suggestions on decks you'd like to see played or any decks that have been working really, really well for you with Miles Morales or any other cards for that matter, drop them in the comments. I'd love to check them out. Happy to play them in a video and see how they go. I'm always happy to feature uh, decks from subscribers or people that are watching our videos uh, anytime. So that wraps up this video. I'll be playing Miles Morales and building decks around him a ton more in the coming days as well as just getting other videos out there as we usually do. Um, but thanks so much for stopping by. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and until the next one, I'll see you then.